Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to show you how to get started using iTheme Security Pro. Now the first thing you're going to want to do after installing and activating iTheme Security Pro is to click the security logo in the admin menu. After clicking the security logo you're going to be presented with the all new onboarding flow in iTheme Security Pro. Now the new onboarding flow is designed to help you get from zero to secure in just a matter of minutes. On the first page of the onboarding screen, you're going to be asked to choose between six different security site templates. Now, because I have Restrict Content Pro installed on this website, I think Security Pro is recommending that the e-commerce site template is what is best for this site. Now, after I select the e-commerce site template, iTheme Security Pro is going to automatically configure the different security settings that make the most sense for an e-commerce site. On the next screen, you'll be asked if you're configuring iTheme Security for yourself or for your client. Now, for the purposes of this video, we're going to go ahead and select that we're setting this up for a client. Now it's time to select the users that our clients will be using on this site. Now you have two options to do this. You can either scroll through all the different users and then find them manually, or you can just go ahead and type them in. And on this site, we have two different users that we need to select. After you select all your clients, go ahead and click the next button. The next step in the onboarding process is to select the users that will actually be managing iTheme Security Pro on this site. Now, iTheme Security Pro is automatically going to add your user to this list because you're the one that's setting it up. Now, for the sake of simplicity, we're going to say on this site that my user is the only user that will be managing security on this site. Now it's time to decide whether or not your client should have access to the security settings. Now keep in mind that by default, iTheme Security Pro allows any user with the user role of administrator to view and make changes to the security settings. Now while your client may need the user role of administrator to perform other tasks throughout the site, they may not be the best person to make changes to the security settings. Furthermore, if they don't have a good understanding of security, seeing a security notification could cause them unnecessary concern. Something as simple as a logout notification could be misinterpreted as the site being hacked. Restricting your client's access to the security settings could save you and your client a lot of potential headaches in the future. So, what we're going to do on this site is we aren't going to allow our clients to view or make changes to the security settings. The next step in the onboarding process is to select the WordPress user roles that are assigned to your customers. Now, depending on what kind of site you have and the complexity of it, you might have multiple WordPress user roles that are assigned to customers. And that just happens to be the case on this site. So before we move to the next step, we need to make sure that we select every single user role that applies to the different types of customers on the site. The next couple of steps are designed to help iTheme Security know how much security do you want to apply to your customer accounts. So the first question is whether or not you want to protect your customer accounts with two-factor authentication. Now, securing your customer accounts with two-factor authentication will require them to enter in an extra security code along with their username and password to log in. Two-factor authentication is the best way to protect your customer accounts from bot attacks. So we're always going to be for more security. So we're going to go ahead and require our customers to use two-factor authentication. The next question is asking whether or not you want to secure your customer accounts with a password policy. Now, what this really is asking is if you want to force your customers to use a strong password and whether or not that you want to refuse to allow your customers to use a password that has been found in a database dump that's been monitored by the Have I Been Pwned API. Now, it's completely understandable and even encouraged to make creating an account or logging into an account as easy as possible. 
However, your customer may not know that the password they are using was found in a database dump. And if that password that they're using was found in a database dump, it's going to make it easier for a would-be attacker to exploit that and compromise their account. Now, you would actually be doing your customer a great service by alerting them that the password that you're using was previously compromised. So imagine if they're using that password everywhere, you could save them from so many headaches down the road. So of course, we're gonna go ahead and enable this and help protect our customers. Now it's time to enable some of the security settings that affect the user experience or that are recommended by iTheme Security Pro. So we're gonna go ahead and enable everything. And then we're gonna to go to make sure that we're on the lockouts tab and we have everything including Recaptcha enabled here. Now it's time to configure user groups. User group is how you can enable security features that affect the user experience to specific sets of users. So now here you have two different options. You can use the default iTheme security user groups or you can create custom user groups. We recommend that you use the default groups. The default groups are the easiest way to get started using iTheme security. Additionally, We've already started building those user groups for you based on the site type you selected and how you've answered the different questions. So we're gonna go ahead on this site, we're gonna continue with the default user groups. All right, now we can see that iTheme Security has created the client's user group for us, the security manager's user group for us, and the customer's user group for us. Now if we take a look, we can see that our clients do not have access to manage iTheme Security or create security dashboards. And then we can also go and double check to make sure that, oh, yep, the two users that we selected are in this group. And if we look at our customers, let's go ahead and make sure that, yep, we have the password requirements enabled for them and they are required to use two factor. And if we look at our group settings, we can also see that all the user roles that we selected for our customers are in this group. Now, if we want to, we can go ahead and make changes but I'm comfortable with how all the settings are right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and skip the user groups section and move on to the configure part of the onboarding process. Most of the iTheme security settings only need to be enabled to start protecting your website. However, there are a few settings that require a little extra configuration in order to start protecting your site. So let's go ahead and take a look at the settings that we recommend that you configure in order to get the most out of iTheme Security Pro. So the first thing you're gonna see is an option to add your IP to the authorized host list. Now, adding your IP to the authorized host list is going to prevent you from inadvertently being locked out or banned from the website. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my IP to the authorized host list to prevent myself from getting locked out or banned on this website. The next thing we can configure is the network brute force protection. Now to get our API key for this, all we need to do is enter in our email address. We also have the option to decide whether or not we want to receive the WordPress vulnerability report in our inbox on a weekly basis. This is great. Every single week you get caught up on the latest vulnerabilities that you can check against your list of plugins installed to make sure you aren't running any plugins with known vulnerabilities. So I definitely want to receive that. And then we also can enable recaptcha. Now recaptcha is great at blocking bad bots. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, enter our site key into here real quick and that way we can protect our site and we're going to want to use this everywhere. So let's go ahead and protect our site with recaptcha and move on to the next step, which is setting the default recipient for email notifications generated by iThemes Security Pro. Now by default, all administrators will receive the emails generated by iThemes Security Pro. And what I wanna do on this step is I want to deselect all administrators and just select me as the default recipient to ensure that my clients don't receive any unwanted or unnecessary notifications. So we're gonna go ahead and click continue. On the secure site screen, we can review everything that we've enabled, all the different features, the settings that we configured, 
the user groups that we created and the different features that we have enabled for all the different user groups. And then once we reviewed and everything's to our liking, we can go ahead and apply those settings by clicking the secure site button. And this will go through and then actually start enabling those features, configuring the different settings, creating the user groups, and then also it will um, apply all the security settings to the appropriate user groups. And once that is completed, we can go ahead and click finish and we can pat ourselves on the back for getting our site to be more secure than we've ever been. And hey, that is going to wrap it up. That's all you have to do to get started with iTheme Security Pro. That's a new onboarding feature, and we hope that you find it useful.